If you play Siamese Mahjong using American style rules and you tend to play the same hands over and over again, try Siamese Force. This will force you to play throughout the card. I have strips, one for each category on the card. Since we're playing two hands at once, we can pick six and force hands in random categories. If you are new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss anything. Let's do some Siamese force. I'm just going to mix these up and we'll pick six. Year. Winds and Dragons. Quince, 369, singles and pairs, consecutive run. This is a great exercise if you play in tournaments or if you play at events where there are prizes. Let's get started. We're going to say we're the dealer for each of these exercises. So I'm going to get 28 random tiles. Okay, we have two jokers. That might be enough for a quint. And we have a pung. Let's see how many dragons we have. These are the only, oh, here's, there's an east. All right, let's see what else. Oh, look at, there's another pung. Oh, there's a west and a north. Oh, wow. One, two, three. Oh, wow. All right. Year's not going to work. We're going to let that go. Winds and Dragons. We do have N-E-W. I don't think that's enough, though, for a whole category there. Quince is a possibility. Three, six, nine. No nines. One, six. I think we should let that go. Singles and pairs. We might be able to do singles and pairs. No flowers. We could maybe do something consecutive with five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let's pull down five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. And a quint. The quint I'm thinking about is the second from the bottom. Quint, pair, quint. So we'd have to throw that away. Quint, pair, quint. We could claim this one right away. Then I would, let's see. Play six, seven, eight. There's an eight, six, seven. If we had a six crack, we could play six, seven, six, seven, eight. That's what I would do here. We do have Joker bait, eight discards with Joker bait. That is not too bad. I think what I would do though is hold on to the west and the green in case we went with the quint here or even here depending on how the drawing goes so i would hold that joker bait okay definitely a quint on top there's a couple of options four discards with joker bait that's how i would play this 
If you would do something different, we have a quint and we have consecutive run. Consecutive run is not in there. Singles and pairs. Okay, we got to rethink it. How about east and west with eights? We got to win a prize. East and west with eights, quint. Joker bait. This is Joker bait. Oh, consecutive run. I did grab it. <laughs> okay, east and west with eights. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Versus. There's way more five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's better. Consecutive run and quince. Silly me. There, consecutive run and quince. We have a couple options. But this is how I would play it. Write in the comment section, force one and what you would do differently here. Quint with one, two, three, obviously we need flowers, or west green, one or two, six, seven, eight, consecutive run, and joker bait. We're forcing these hands. No jokers. So we need to make a single and pair hand work here. Okay, here we go. The year category, we do have a white dragon. We have a 2-1 and a 2-7. We do have a 2-1 here also. 2-1, let's just pull all the 2s and the 1s together and the 7s. Year category, right there. Lots of options. Then for the next one, no flowers. I was thinking we could do a two, four, six, eight pair hand. We have a year here. What about three, six, nine? Three, six, nine. This would be joker bait. This would be joker bait. 369 year category. If I had to pick a hand, I would play, let's see, I would not pick a hand, seriously, I would let it go and wait until I run out of discards. But if I had to pick a hand, probably the mixed suit first one we have no flowers so i'd probably try to play the first one and whittle out these options then for the 369 i probably if i had to pick a hand again i would play the second from the bottom pairs of three sixes and nines and kongs of the same number either three sixes or nines but i don't play that way i would gather until i run out of discards save the joker bait for as late in the game as possible um, and then discard hoping to get a joker into my hand so this is how i would play this three six nine and the year 
So we have 369 and the year. There are a lot of options in here. We definitely have more discards than just four and Joker bait. We would probably have six discards out of here. I'd say we probably have 10 discards, but this is how I would play it, forcing hands. Right, force two and what you would do differently Okay, now we have to make winds and dragons and singles and pairs work. Okay, here we go. We need to make winds and dragons and singles and pairs work. I think what I would do here is play east and west with dragons. And then we have to make singles and pairs work. So, I think maybe the odd hand. So I would hold all the odds. I would hold that flower too. We could play all dragons maybe, if we get the other dragons, of course. So we're missing a one crack. We could play the odd pair hand, third from the bottom. We need one crack, fill in pairs, and then the nine. I would hold the fives in case five bams came in for an option. So this would leave 10 discards with this option. That's how I would play it. Winds and Dragons, Singles and Pairs. If you would do something differently, let me know. You might think, why not play the really big hand with the year tiles? We have no ones and no twos. I'm sorry, we do have a two, but we have no ones and we have no green dragon. That's multiple gaps. With this one, we have only one gap. We need green dragons. Here we have one gap. So I think the big year hand would be multiple gaps. And it would deplete the wind and dragon category. We're forcing both. This is how I would play it. You know what I would do though? I think I would hold the one and the, the one here also, because if we get the three and the seven, maybe we could use the nines there I would just hold all of them and I would discard these first. Eight discards, but there's more than eight, probably about 10 there. But that's how I would play it. Right, force three, if you would do something different under the comment section, if you have a set at home, I challenge you to get it out and play Siamese force especially if you tend to play the same hands again and again. I think it'll really help broaden your horizons, as it were, and navigate the whole card. Also, if you play in tournaments or special events, try this exercise. And the next event that you go to, if you want a prize, come back and let me know. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing and click the bell so you get notification for when I post new videos. That way you won't miss out on any opportunities to learn some new strategy or maybe gain an insight into the game that might give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Force for American Style, may all your picks be keepers.